This right here is the ultimate Canon M50 vlogging rig. Let's get right into it. This is pretty much the ultimate M50 vlogging rig without going like insanely all out and just blowing everything out of proportion. So I'm gonna go through everything here and pretty much build the rig right in front of me and talk about each part and piece and why I chose it and what I like about it and uh, essentially build the whole rig. And then I'll show you some test footage and show you what this rig is capable of. So of course, the first thing, the main part of this rig, this right here is the Canon M50. So of course, this is the powerhouse. This is the brain of the whole rig, the main piece right here. But as you can see, I have an adapter and a lens attached to it. So let's get right into the adapter and lens. So attached right to the M50, I have right here the Viltrox Speed Booster. So this is a 0.71 times focal reducer. And essentially what this does is gives the M50 the equivalent field of view of a full frame sensor. And so full frame cameras are pretty much better in almost every aspect than crop sensors, because of course it's a bigger sensor, it can gather more light, it gives a shallower depth of field, more detail. Essentially, full frame sensors are just better than crop sensors. And so this Viltrox Focal Reducer kind of gives the M50 a full frame sensor. So I'm gonna link this down in the description. I'll actually have the entire parts list down in the description. If you wanna check out everything or one of the pieces individually, I'll have links to everything in the description and they will be affiliate links. So if you do buy something from one of my links, I'll get a small kickback and no extra cost to you. So it really helped me to create more videos like this and it helped you by getting an awesome new product. Anyways, next up, of course, the lens. So attached to the Viltrox Speed Booster, I have the Canon 16-35 f2.8 L lens. So this is a Canon L lens, so of course it's going to be the best you can get. It's going to be really sharp, really good build quality, it has a weather sealing gasket. Canon L series lenses are pretty much just the best lenses you can get for Canon cameras. And so one of the great things about using the Canon EF 16-35 2.8 with the Viltrox Speed Booster is it's going to give you essentially the equivalent 16-35 field of view, so it's really good for vlogging. It gives a really wide field of view, which is of course perfect for vlogging. But also, since the Speed Booster lets in more light, this lens is essentially equivalent to an f2. And it even shows that in the menu when you change your aperture all the way to the widest it goes, it goes all the way to f2, which is really going to help separate your foreground from the background, and it'll give you really good professional looking vlogs or videos or whatever you're doing with this camera rig. But anyways, next up, let's move on to this right here so I can kind of get this rig off the ground. So this right here is the iFootage mini pod or Cobra 2 mini tripod. This is essentially just a really, really well-built mini tripod. It's made almost fully out of metal. It has a really high quality, really strong ball head on it. Uh, this thing is one of my favorite pieces of filmmaking gear. Uh, that I've ever owned. And I actually made a whole video about it, which I will link in the description as well, if you wanna learn more about this mini tripod. So the rig's kinda of coming together now. I mean, technically this right here, you could use to vlog if you just flip the screen out. There you go, you can vlog with this right here. Set it down, you know, vlog like that, anything like that. So it's coming together, but we still have a lot to go uh, to really make this thing a beast. All right, so next up I have these right here. These are the Sandmark ND and polarizing filters. And so what I use these for are essentially any times I'm outdoors in a really bright light, if I need to vlog or you know get a shot of something and I don't wanna just crank up the shutter speed or crank down the aperture, I can just throw one of these on and essentially it'll just darken the image up and help get perfect exposure during the daytime. And also the polarizing filter will help cut through any sort of glass. It'll help make the sky really blue really vibrant, it'll make things look really good. So next up, we have this right here. This is a Ulanzi ball head. And so this is really neat because it actually has a cold shoe built onto the side of it right here. And so what I'm gonna use this for is holding the monitor and the microphone. So if we slip this right up on top here, we have this ball head right up top here with a quick release plate. And so I have the quick release plate actually attached to this right here. This is the Feel World FW279 monitor. So this is an ultra bright 7 inch monitor. I believe it's 2200 nits. So no matter how bright of a day it is, you're going to be able to monitor your footage just fine when you're vlogging. So if we just clamp this right up here. And there we go. That's the monitor right there. And so this plugs in right on the side of the M50 here with a micro HDMI. Now this is not a very good port. Micro HDMI is pretty much like a micro USB. It's so small, it's so weak so easy to break so really be careful with this plug on the m50 
Uh, I mean, it's super easy if you just actually brush it or tug it. It could just snap right off because how stupid small this is. So I don't like this port at all, uh, but M50 has it, so I gotta use it. So it's getting a lot bigger now, but we still have one more piece to the puzzle, which is of course audio. With the ultimate vlogging rig, you don't want to use internal audio because the internal mics on the M50 aren't the best. I'm not saying they're terrible, but you know you really want to get high quality audio. So in terms of audio, I have the Rode Wireless Go. Now I chose this for a few different reasons. First of all, it is a wireless system, so. What you can do is clip this on right here, plug it into the mic input on the M50, and that's the receiver right there. And then the transmitter, I have this Rode Lavalier Go plugged into it. And so this is a really small lavalier mic. And the reason why I chose this over like a shotgun mic, like a Rode Video Micro or a Rode Video Mic Go, is because you can get really consistent audio with a lav mic, no matter what direction you're pointing the camera, no matter how far you are from the camera, the audio volume is gonna be the exact same. You know, from back here, I'm not gonna get at all as good audio quality as if I'm right in front of the camera with a shotgun mic. So, with this Rode Wireless Go, you can clip this lavalier mic right under your shirt, pretty much anywhere. You can clip this somewhere under your pocket or under your pants or your belt or anything like that. And now, the audio is always gonna be the same. The mic's always gonna be the same distance from my mouth. I just need to adjust the audio volume once and it's gonna be all set to go. So that's why I use this. And you can even have somebody else film you and the audio is just gonna be the exact same no matter what. And so that right there completes the ultimate Canon M50 vlogging rig. Like I said, this is a pretty big setup. Uh, it's not insanely heavy. It's still easy to hold out in front of you. But if you really do need to get it smaller, you can just take this monitor off and just flip this screen out. But of course, the screen isn't gonna be as bright. You're not gonna be able to really see it in the sunlight. I'm gonna go ahead and show some video examples and some audio examples with this rig right now. All right, what's going on? So I just got a new desk right there. Uh, I just built it yesterday, but now I gotta kind of put the whole room together. So that's what I've been doing in this vlog, just kind of organizing the room, putting everything together, setting up the new desk. I don't know if it's gonna be my new YouTube desk yet. Hopefully eventually. Uh, maybe I can do something like this, I don't know. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. Either way, so I'm gonna be setting up this whole desk area. Kind of a boring vlog, honestly, but it'll give a good example of what this can do. You know, obviously I just set it down on the tripod got my mic on me so I can back all the way up here same volume everything's the same so just a couple examples of this setup that I'm talking about here and uh, yeah we'll throw the studio together so I have kind of my camera shelf right here that I put all my camera bodies on I don't know if I want to put it next to this one right here, or if I want to try to put them both along this wall, I don't know if the book fit there. Or if I put this one here and the camera body one right here, that'll kind of block some of those. So I don't know, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I got to figure out what works best. All right, that's not bad right there. Uh, doesn't take as much room as I thought, so I still have all this workspace right here. All right, so that's kind of set up there. I definitely need more uh, storage for camera bodies because I got to put some down here and then even some kind of hidden back there. So I definitely need a bigger camera body shelf, but it kind of all fits here. It doesn't take up too much room. So it's pretty much perfect for right now at least. So there we go. That wraps up the Ultimate Canon M50 vlogging rig. Definitely let me know in the comments if this helped you out and if you enjoyed this video. And also feel free to go down and subscribe and hit the like button and check out my other videos. Also, I just launched channel memberships. So if you're a fan of my channel and you wanna get some exclusive content, I'm even gonna be doing some giveaways. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to go down and check out my perks and consider becoming a member of my channel. It would really help me out to create more videos like this in the future and I would really, really appreciate it. But either way, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.